Everyone I know knows the suffering of addiction. And if it's not our own personal struggle, someone close to us is having their life really squeezed. It's such a huge, intractable kind of dis-ease you know, in individuals and in the culture that, that the look for a cure, how do we free ourselves, is, is all over. And one of the things that I am most um, excited about right now is the, the research that's showing more and more the power of mindfulness, of training in mindfulness meditation to begin to loosen the grip of addiction. So we begin by saying, so what is addiction? And it's that, it's the feeling of having to have something. That my life is not okay, I'm not okay, unless I can have this substance or this experience now. And what happens for the addict, person who's addicted, is that even when the craving is satisfied, the fix doesn't last for long. It's just a temporary kind of uplift. And it's a lot like drinking salt water to quench our thirst. It doesn't really work. And so the search goes on. And even when we're not struggling with a kind of addiction that's biological or where it seems to be taking over our life, For most of us, we have the kind of strong wants and strong desires that can pretty much possess us at times. So the inquiry is, how do we loosen that? How do we begin to find some freedom? Because for the addict, there's a deep amount of shame in feeling hooked on something. And even if we're not addicted, there's a sense not only of shame, but that our lives are out of our hands when we're lost in obsessing about a certain person or we're caught in having to have our finances different for us to relax or having to feel like we've accomplished more in order to feel good about ourselves. Strong wanting and addictive wanting really squeezes our life energy. Mm